Happy school to report here tonight from McDougal McClendon Gym. Eagles are victorious. 86-65 highest output. Uh, they scored all year long. They moved to 4-15 and 15 on the season and were joined by the victorious head coach for the second night in a row here in the 2010 BC Powder Classic, head coach Lavelle Moten. Coach, feels pretty good to uh, win a couple games in a row and get a little confidence going here. And it certainly looked like it tonight. You guys certainly had that going for you. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the guys came out and, you know, I was a little disappointed at first because uh, I walked out and we had a technical foul. So we, we have to learn how to warm up a little better without grabbing the rim. But, you know, I, I guess that was the adrenaline showing. But uh, once, once they threw the ball up and, and we got started, I think we jumped out to an early lead. And, um, you know, they, they were able to make a couple of runs. But, you know, we played disciplined basketball. And for the most part, we value the basketball tonight. And, and when you value the basketball, you give yourself opportunities to win the game. Can you can you please tell me, and maybe, maybe you may not be able to because of, uh, I guess, uh, politeness or whatever, but what did you say to Michael Glasker? Last night, five turnovers. Not a good night for him. Today, 15 assists, the second highest output in school history, and only three turnovers. Well, you know, I pretty much didn't have to say anything. He's a he's a competitor, and, uh, you know, he's a self-starter. And, and with that said, he knew he didn't come out and, and uh, give his best performance uh, last night. But, you know, for me playing the game, one thing I do know is when you have a bad game, you know, chances are you'll respond greatly. Uh, and, and he pretty much came out here and distributed the basketball, valued the basketball. And, you know, was, there were some things that we worked on and shoot around. And uh, we just felt we wanted to get out and transition more. I would like for us to rebound the basketball a little better. But, you know, we were able to get it and uh, outlet the ball to him. And he got it to the middle of the floor and made some wonderful plays, in which uh, in return got C.J. and uh, Vincent some easy looks. The MVP of this weekend's classic, C.J. Wilkerson, finished with 30 points. And I, and I bring I compare him to you again because he went eight for eight in the second half, finishing with the 30 points. Yeah, he, he's better than me. He, he's a little <laughs> more athletic than me. I, I can't run and jump. My points were a little more difficult. He gets them a lot easier. But, you know, here's a kid who's a, a joy to coach. Uh, uh, it's just my pleasure to coach him. He does, you know, everything that you would want in a student athlete. And, you know, he's always knocking on the door to watch extra film or get extra advice or texting me to say what can he do better. And he, he, he means it. It's, it's genuine to him. So uh, one thing we felt like we could expose a little bit more was him getting out on the sideline and running up to the basketball floor and getting some easy buckets, you know, because now he's the guy on everyone's blackboard. So, you know, it's going to be difficult for him to score to set plays. You know, they watch video, they have scouting reports. So we have to get him to manufacture points in other ways, and he did an excellent job in doing that. It really seemed like uh, your talk with Vincent Davis this morning about being consistent, staying mentally focused, really worked out. He finished with 18 points and didn't didn't too much try to force things during the contest. Right. He, he's, you know, the biggest difference between him, I, I think, this year and, and last year, hopefully, is his, his shooting percentage. Um, you know, I, I think the first day we got here, um, you know, uh, he said, Coach, you going to make me a better shooter? I said, yep, exactly. I said, you won't go for for 19 anymore. He was like, oh, yeah, how you going to do that? I said, well, when you miss three in a row, you're going to come sit down with me. You're not going to take 19 shots. So now he has to be picky and, and pretty much pick his shots. And that's what we're pretty much trying to get, get across to these guys. You got to take good shots. And, and, you know, once you do that and square up and, and square your shoulders and release the basketball, you know, whatever happens, happens. But we don't need fadeaway shots and, uh, you know, low percentage shots on our end. And, and, and he's certainly getting a hold of that. We turn around, head up to Blacksburg for another uh, difficult challenge, but this team's not going to back down from any. After that, you go to Savannah State. So uh, what's your focus heading into the, these next two ball games? two tough challenges? Wow. Uh, you know, just starting with VTech, uh, you know, it's needless to say that uh, we definitely have our hands filled and we have to play close to perfect basketball to come out with a victory. But, you know, it's another uphill challenge that, you know, I, I fully embrace and also the guys. So we're definitely going in there to, I look for upset. Um, I'm going to leave my wife home because she's an alum of VTech, so I'm not sure who she's going to be cheering <laughs> for. You know, I think she's half hokey, half eagle, but, you know, we got to leave her at home. And, and, and so it'll be a, a, a fighting war between her and I. So we're definitely going to look forward to coming out on top. Savannah State, another team uh, in the same transition as we are, but they're, uh, as we saw last year, a pretty tough opponent, but it could be a different ball game considering two programs in different directions. All right, final question for you. You got four wins at this point in the season. Who cares who it is against? But you already equal last season's win total. And I'm not comparing the two programs, but it just shows there's a lot of growth going on here at North Carolina Central. Well, you know, uh, 
My predecessor, Coach Dickerson, uh, did an outstanding job in preparing me for, for this situation. So, uh, you know, credit where credit due, he had to in, endure the brink of, of, of this um, transition and, and the trials and tribulations and the growing curves. And he just pretty much passed the baton to me and left everything in good hands. So, um, you know, we're just chopping wood every day. That's pretty much our motto and hoping things get better. So we look forward to uh, making some more progress. Coach, congratulations on the win. Two in a row as we head out to Blacksburg, and, and we'll be talking to you next week. Thanks a lot, Chris. That was head coach Savell Moten as we continue on on the Eagles Post Game Report brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Let's bring on the MVP of this weekend and Oxford sensation, C.J. Wilkerson, as he steps here to the broadcast table. 30 points on the night, 10 of 14 from the field. 7-7 seven seven from the free throw line, 3-5 for five from the perimeter, 8-8 eight for eight in the second half. C.J. Wilkerson, uh, were, you, were you trying to outdo your coach as far as performance tonight in, in your first 30-point contest here at North Carolina Central? Uh, not at all. You know, I just wanted to come out, you know, try to be patient on the offensive end, you know, coaching them and telling me lately, you know, just let the offensive game come to me, be more patient. Of course, we play hard on defense. When you play hard on defense, they're to open the offensive things. But I just wanted to come out, you know, I felt at first like I was starting off slow, but then things picked up. You know, I kind of got, you know, some easy layups, free throws. And then, like Coach said, when you get those little easy buckets, the baskets start opening up for you. This morning in shoot-around, you seemed to be really in the zone, so to speak. Your shots were falling. You look really smooth out there. Did, did you – Did you? Am I, am I, have, do I have a correct statement there, a correct, correct assessment, so to speak? Uh, yeah, you know, like when we're doing shoot-around, not only do we work on, you know, the other team – their plays and stuff, but then we putting it, putting up shots and, you know, anytime we putting up shots, you know, coach want us, you know, to act as if it's game situation and getting our feet set, you know, and just basically, you know, putting up good shots, you know, and that's the thing really he's been telling me lately as well, you know, being a two guard, most of the time it's all about your feet, you know, getting that set and having your hands ready and, you know, when it's time, just put it up, don't even think about it. You've seen to really turn it on the last few ball games for this program. Just talk about the, the progress this team has made over the last few weeks, despite the two and eight record in the last ten ball games. Uh, yeah, we definitely making progress. You know, the thing with Coach, he he's saying he's seeing growth every day, but we we don't want to get content. You know, we had two you know good games that we played today and well tonight and last night, and that was a plus for us. You know, building confidence. And going into Blacksburg, you know, Virginia Tech, and then going to Savannah State. But, you know, that's just the thing we want to do. We want to grow each and every day, you know, me, myself, and my teammates, you know, and that'll just help us out with the rest of the season, the rest of the games. All right, CJ, congratulations on the 30-point effort tonight. Your first year at North Carolina Central, and also congratulations on being named MVP here at the 2010 BC Powder Classic. All right, thank you, Chris. That was CJ Wilkerson, the – Extraordinary shooting guard here at North Carolina Central. 30 points tonight. He is the 2010 BC Powder Classic MVP. We're back to wrap this up here on the NCCU Sports Network.